welcome back world to another fasted workout voiceover with the Hungarian experiment. Lately to begin most of my workouts I've been doing about a 5 to 10 minute light jog or even a nice brisk walk. I don't want to burn too much energy because I am about 17 to 19 hours fasted when I head off to the gym but I want to make sure I get the blood flowing and I get my muscles nice and warmed up especially now it's turning into fall here in Canada so you want to make sure your muscles are nice and loose that way you don't pull anything or stretch anything the wrong way so that's just basically what I've been doing for my warm-up and then I headed off to stretch and warm up for my weak points workout I want to try to get my form and my strength on my deadlift a lot better so I believe that's one of my weak points so in between my stretch warm up here, I just made sure I did some 135 pound deadlifts just to get my back and my legs nice and warmed up and going there. Now I prefer to do dynamic stretching rather than static stretching. As you see here, I'm constantly moving. There might be only one or two stretches where I'm actually static and I hold it. But I believe when you wanna warm up for your workout, you wanna do a dynamic stretch. You wanna be moving. The static stretch from what I've read and researched isn't that very beneficial? It does help to stretch the muscle. It's not loosening it. It's not getting it prepared for the exercises you're going to be doing. So I always like to do a nice dynamic stretch. I barely hold my stretches for more than 5 to 10 seconds. And then as you guys might know there, I've been doing my handstand push-ups and trying to get better at these planches because I want to master these before the end of this year. I'm getting a lot better. I just need to keep progressing and keep experimenting every single day. And I know I will get there. And you guys will see. Three more months to go. And then once I was all done letting the blood rush to my head, I started off with deadlifts. Now this is my weak points workout. I'm not going super heavy on these because I'm also trying to work out my chest and a whole bunch of other small body parts. So I'm just doing enough to make sure I'm progressing in this workout. On my weak point workouts, I try to get a lot of volume and a lot of time under tension while focusing on my form. Trying to get better with my form while making sure I'm getting a lot of reps in and I'm working through the muscle group rather than just trying to pull or lift as heavy as I can. Trying to conserve my fasted energy so I can get a nice optimal workout and hit multiple muscle groups and really progress on all these weak point workouts. So on my deadlifts here, I believe this is 205. This was a week or two ago, so to be honest, I can't really remember. But I believe I shot over just 200 pounds. And as I said there, I just made sure I repped it out real nice. And I just tried to make sure I got a whole bunch of reps in with nice clean form. So now that my legs and glutes are nice and warmed up, I decided to warm up my chest on the pec deck machine. Again, just focusing on that mind to muscle connection, making sure I have good form, pushing through the full muscle group rather than just trying to move that thing. As you guys see there, my rib cage is very lopsided, so it takes me a good little while to set up on my chest exercises. But over this last year, I've seen that putting in that extra 20 to 30 seconds to make sure I'm nice and set up on the machine or on the bench before I go through the workout. And I've been seeing amazing results. So guys, if you're starting out, focus on form. Don't worry about lifting heavy weight. That's what I thought in high school and throughout college was lift heavy and the muscles will come. Well, I lifted heavy because my rib cage was off. I lifted with a lot more of my back. So I have a lot of catching up to do, which is why this year is for my weak points. So once I got my pecs nice and warmed up there, I headed over to do some walking lunges. As you see here, I do two different styles. One where I step right up and then one where I stride out in front. I feel different muscles getting activated when I do these two different exercises. So I always usually shoot for about four sets of walking lunges and I'll alternate between both of those exercises. From there I just did some oblique work with some cross cable chops and then one key thing I've been doing lately to help improve my mind to muscle connection is I've been doing the decline bench press but I will go very lightweight and as you see here I keep my palms open. I always seem to struggle on the decline bench. I was not sure why, but now I realize why. Now that I've opened up my palms and I'm not just trying to grab that bar and push it as hard as I can, I now see that I was not pushing through the muscle. 
I was not going through the full muscle and getting that mind to muscle connection going. So lately, I've just been keeping my hands open and trying to have some good form on the decline bench. And it has been transferring over to my regular bench press and even my incline bench press as well as my dumbbell benches. So all around, I've been really enjoying doing the decline bench press with my hands open. If you guys are interested, give it a shot. From there, I'm trying to grow those glutes to get my squats a little better. So I just did some glute kickbacks. Just did about 20 reps, nothing too, too heavy. Again, mind to muscle connection, pushing through that muscle group. And I supersetted those glute kickbacks with some forearm curls here. Just have a few small body parts there that I'm trying to grow and bring up in this weak point here so that next year when I try to go for my all around physique, hopefully everything will be nice and proportionate. And then to finish off my workout there, I headed over to the decline hammer strength machine. This year for my chest, because I'm trying to bring up my weak points, I'm really trying to focus on the inner and lower chest. That is why I'm trying to do a whole lot of decline this year. And I'm really trying to get my form better on the decline bench. So just trying to get the strength and form down. And then hopefully next year, I'll be able to put on some nice muscle mass. All right, well, that's it for my weak points workout there. I hope this video was a little informative for you guys. And I hope it gave you guys a little insight onto what types of exercises I do to develop the muscles and the physique that I'm trying to attain. If you guys like this video, make sure you go down, hit that like button, and leave me a comment. Hungarian Experiment, out.